FaceTime is a really great way to visit with family and friends who are nearby or, you know, miles away. It's hard to believe that FaceTime has been around for almost 14 years. I remember when it first launched. I thought it was just about the coolest thing ever, but, you know, I, I really didn't use it that much. And I'm not sure why, but I just didn't. But, you know, the years have passed, and when the pandemic hit, I was all in since we were pretty much locked down. And FaceTime has gotten so much better over the years. If you're new to FaceTime or would just like to polish your FaceTime skills, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich, and today's video on how to use FaceTime is part five in my 12-part series on iPhone basics. This video, along with the rest of this series, is designed to teach you the basics on using your iPhone. Nothing complicated here, I'd leave that to others. But, even if you know quite a bit about using your iPhone, there still might be a gem or two in this video that's worth your time. Today's video is all about FaceTime and how to use it. It's really not that hard, and once you get the hang of it, you'll be using it all the time. Today, I'm going to show you how to start a FaceTime call from the FaceTime app, because, you know, that makes sense, from the Messages app, and from the Contacts app. And I'm going to show you how to mute your microphone or turn your camera off when you're on a FaceTime call, because, you know, sometimes you just need to do that. And then, lastly, I'm going to talk to you about why using an iPhone stand makes your FaceTime calls so much better. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is just how to make a FaceTime call using the FaceTime app. And it's pretty simple. Here, we've got the FaceTime app icon down in my dock. And you may have it up here, but it's somewhere on your iPhone. If you tap on that, it'll open FaceTime. And here you're going to see a history of all the FaceTime calls you made. And if you want to call somebody you've already called using FaceTime, you can just tap on their name and you're good to go. If you don't have any history here and you want to make a new FaceTime call, all you do is tap on New FaceTime. Now keep in mind, FaceTime calls are typically between two iPhones. So if the person you want to call doesn't have an iPhone, you can make a FaceTime call with them. You would tap on Create a Link and text them, and then that will create a FaceTime link and you can make the call. But I'm not going to go into that in this video, but I want you to know, generally speaking, FaceTime calls are between two iPhones, but you can do it between an iPhone and some other phone that's not an iPhone using the Create link. But here, we're just going to tap on New FaceTime, and we're going to type in a number here. And then we're going to hit return. And then we're going to just tap on the FaceTime button like that. And now you're making a new FaceTime call. And that's how you make a FaceTime call from within the FaceTime app. You can also start a FaceTime call from within messages. If you tap on messages and you see someone that you want to that you've had text messages with, you can tap on that. And if you'll notice, there's a little camera right up here in the top right corner of your iPhone. If you tap on that, you can make a FaceTime audio call, which is audio th over FaceTime, but no camera. Or you can tap on FaceTime video and you have a full FaceTime call. But from within the Messages app, all you have to do is tap on the little camera. And that's it. You can also make a FaceTime call from within the Contacts app. If you tap on your Contacts app and open it up, and then you tap on the contact you want to make a FaceTime call to, you can just tap on FaceTime, the little icon button right here, like that, and make a FaceTime call. It's as simple as that. So again, you just go to the Contacts, tap on FaceTime, and you're good to go. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is how to mute your audio or to turn off the camera while you're in the middle of a FaceTime call. So I'm going to make a FaceTime call from myself to myself using my two iPhones and then I'll show you how it works. In return, I'm going to make the FaceTime call. Now I'm going to answer over on my other phone. And I'll 
to join. So now I'm making a FaceTime call from myself to myself. But as you can see up here, I made the call from this phone. I can mute the audio by simply tapping. And if that disappears, by the way, you can just tap on your screen and bring it back or make it disappear. If you tap on the screen, you can just tap mute. And now you've muted your microphone here so that the person on this side can't hear you. Or if you want to turn off the camera, you can just tap that. And you can see that the camera has been sort of fogged out so they can't see anything. And then you can turn the camera back on. And you've got it that way. And it's real simple. You can mute audio or turn your camera off and on. And sometimes that's important. It's just something that you need to do if you're in the middle of a call. Okay, the last thing I want to talk to you about is just using a stand like this when you make your calls. If you have your phone like this and you're talking and you're walking all around, you can see how distracting that is for the person who's trying to watch you. And it's just difficult to do. And then you're trying to hold your phone like this and then you kind of back away and then you start talking like that and then pretty soon it's just all over the place. But if you have a stand, a simple stand like this, then suddenly the call becomes a lot easier uh, for the other person to see, and it becomes more enjoyable too. And you'll notice too, when you're talking to the other person, if they're not using a stand, how difficult it can be uh, to watch. It's just one of those things. So when you make a FaceTime call, if you can, be sure to put your phone on a stand. It just makes sense. You know, whether your friends or family are close by or far away, using FaceTime creates a more personal connection than just a phone call. My hope is that this short tutorial helps you get started using FaceTime to connect with those who are important to you. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.